But I'm getting promoted anyway. <laughs> Yay. The driver's seat. What a compelling title. Oh my god, we're actually detective now. This is amazing. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. No, I'm not. I'm in this building. That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss was about. Hmm. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. It's 1947, Cole. Shit, these times. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkhauser. Heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me. I heard nothing about you, so. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Intense. Not really. I'm kind of a pussy. The detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. You sound like you're one of them, actually. Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. They all dress like movie stars. Roy is a movie star. Ooh. And the whole of this CD what, really? of LA is his audience. It's kind of weird. <laughs> what is that supposed to so how how much can he actually like? Stick with me, kid. How much police work can he actually do? Like, he's probably getting a bunch of people calling him for fucking roles all the time. Now some housekeeping. Can't imagine he's Warm got a lot of time on his hands for, for this Cole shit. Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke wow. the jewelry store. Wow, so first. enthusiastic. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's alright with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, Cole, you bitch. Cole, you fucking stand your ground, man. That's how you get by. Silver Star during the war. Oh, great, you're gonna kiss my ass, too? Hey, Phelps. Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole. Stefan Bukowski. God damn, everyone is. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. God damn, everyone's into ethnic no terms these days. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You okay? I'll give you a couple more. Oh, did that guy just throw a cup at us? What are we in elementary school? License plates. Now get down to the PE freight depot, sixth and Alameda. Patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop one round. You know, in a lot of ways, us adults are just bigger children. I mean, let's be serious. Just saying. This is 1947, not They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six out. years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five Wow. Months. They were saying that back what then? Damn. I didn't ask for any favors. I was just wondering what she said, by the way, not... Uh, Stephanie Bukowski. Yeah. Oh. What? What did you say? Did your parents ever ask you to run away from home? No. No, why would they do that? Okay. I'm just gonna get away from there. You're giving me creepy vibes. You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal sure. on the warehouse. Yes or no? Why sure? All units of 159 So, send a little bag of friends now? Get to work together, don't be so special. Right, so, god damn it, I don't want to talk over these guys, but there's. It's kind of hard not to. I mean, they talk so much. Alright, let's listen to this. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night. Nice much when you cheese. Gun at the ready. Finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part in the house. What did you do? I kept the streets of LA safe for the people. Oh, you fucking interrupt my dialogue, you cunt. Oh, my God. Shut up. I'm not 
No, just for them, not fucking responding to it. Fuck you. Hey, by the way, there are just dispatch calls. I was gonna get to this once they finish talking, but I game decides to fucking interrupt it. Anyway, um, dispatch calls. Yeah, there's dispatch calls that you can answer. They're optional. They're just like the side mission things that you can do. Oh, there you go. <laughs> just out of nowhere. That was all random. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time. Okay, his mouth is still moving. After that. Oh, okay, right. Pacific Electric. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Oh, God. I need to get back to work, all the detectives oh no. are here now. You Another black guy. Them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. His story. Oh no. He's black, so that probably means he's going to be lying. I gotta be ready for this. Case, Phelps, it's okay to admit it God, yeah, and the game is already throwing me a hardball. Are you kidding me? Come talk to me and we'll see what we can do. Thanks for bothering. You're okay. Actually, I guess it's a softball because I can just answer the same thing over and over. Oh. What are you doing, approaching me? Oh. I don't what care. Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. Mm. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped a full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, <gasps> just north of Bunker Hill. All right. That's a lot of black we'll people in this game. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Oh, is he ever? Nice day for it. All right. Uh, right. No talking to you. As long as we need to. Shut up. God damn it. I'm in charge here, not you. Oh. Hmm. Okay, we'll just look at that later. Um, we'll just take a look at the obvious here. Actually, no. Hello, Mac. Oh. Oh, hey. Hey. Doc. Detective. Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. Victim must be in a very bad way. <laughs> you, you don't say. Oh well, I already opened that. <laughs> Wait, who am I? Who can I talk to? What? Can I talk to you again? No. Okay, anyway, let's look at this. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Wow, great observation, Cole. You're really gonna make in this business. And more blood. Blood from a different angle. Great detective work, Cole. <sighs> Alright. Let's take all this shit. Ooh. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? That wouldn't take much though. Take much to get someone like that, you idiot. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a lot of pig yesterday. Hmm, why would he do that? Unless it was the pig who committed the murder. Oh my god. This case is gonna stretch me, it's gonna push me to the limit. It's gonna test all my wits. It's already got me puzzled. Insta heat. Keep Brand seeing that name. Maybe they're behind this. Maybe they're manufacturing pigs to kill people in their cars, but mauling them and raping them afterwards. I mean, uh, them 
whatever. Same thing. Uh. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What is he doing out here? Oh, he's white. <laughs> the irony there, huh? Oh, he's fat too. Great. Whoa, God. She looks like a serial killer in the middle. <laughs> Jesus. You sure she's not the one behind this? God damn. Alright. Pair of glasses. Stencil. Oh my god. Stenzel has a past history of murders in cars. I think they may be behind this one. I think they may be behind this one, Cole. Cole, you hear me? Cole? Oh god, I can't hear you, he's a freaking idiot. Alright, let's talk Detective to you. Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking the car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Oh, did you now? Huh? Huh? I think we all know why I don't believe that. Buddy. What was your Mind purpose I here? What you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. Liar. I was on my way out to you the put on those clothes. Is oh, of course, he's black, so Ruxer can't make him lie on the first question. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Not a soul. What? Are, really? So, like, there was nobody around, and even, like, those people, all those people gathered up there just kind of, like, appeared out of nowhere? You know, my nephew joined the police, and he's a little slow, too. Oh, getting snippy now, eh? Well, just for that, I'm going to take longer, huh? That's right. We'll see who's slow. Or I'll show you how... I'll show you real slowness, buddy. You'll you'll, you'll get a whole you gonna new... Keep me here, sir? You're going to get a whole new definition of slow if you don't shut the fuck up. All right. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. We talking about he my brother. Oh, let's see. Nice. You know, his face seemed a little bit um his face seemed a little bit suspicious while he was talking, but now it seems perfectly fine, so. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly, so it kind of stood out. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> he just like, teleported. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's take a look at him. Oh, you're hiding something, buddy. I'm gonna get to the bottom of that. Blood on it near the car. You know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Oh, did you? Hmm. He seems perfectly honest. Let's see. What belonging? Dream black. Let me just tell see. me the truth. You hit the driver with the okay. pipe. Okay. You can't prove I touched that pipe. I think you should take that gun off, and I'll teach you a lesson in some manners. <laughs> I wouldn't be talking to a, I wouldn't be talking to a cop like that, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, I guess I'm a detective, but especially in this time, man. I mean, you, you gotta know what your place. Oh, Jesus! That smug look. What the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing personal. Just doing my job. You understand that? <laughs> oh, and I was giving this smug little pretentious look. Like he's all, like he, like he's all something now. All right, all right, yeah, whatever. Whatever, buddy. Mm. You 
picked it up. You moved it. Why is it so far from the car? God damn it, how in the hell would I know? That's it for me and police business from here on. Oh. See, this is this is a case where memory actually fucks you over. Um, I'm gonna explain this in just a second. I'm going to unfortunately redo this part, and we'll be back. <laughs> All right, we're back, and we're gonna give the right answer this time. The obvious one that I knew in my heart was true. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Look of course you'd say that. <laughs> Alright. Let's observe the son of a bitch. Whoa! Fuck, you trying to peek at my shit, huh? Oh, he's hiding something. I, I know he's been telling the truth so far, but that's... That's all just convenient for him. He's fucking... Look at him. Holy shit. Looks like an idiot. Oh, damn, dude, what's wrong with you? Car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Oh, now we've got it. <laughs> Rockstar. You just couldn't... You just couldn't completely shut it out, huh? <laughs> you had us going there with those three truths, but... <laughs> Man, even you had to give in to stereotypes. Alright, I understand. I know how it is. Tell the truth, Mr. Wilkie. You rifled the wallet. My money is my money. You can't prove I touched that wallet. No, we don't have DNA yet, so I guess you're right. We got our fingerprints. So I guess you're right, we can't. Or do we have fingerprints? I don't know. Uh, honestly... Wallet. I mean, I guess I Sorry. can't really. My mistake. Uh. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Oh, that's Maybe the way I to go. Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to. Can we just do that anyway? It's like 1947, Maybe man. Maybe I took a look, but there weren't no money in there. Not even Word. change. Damn. He's poor as fuck. Help, Contact your employer if we need anything more. Yeah, far to four after we yeah, fucking rewind it. Like that. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I can't really spend no more time over there. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. Let's go I'm talk to the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> yeah, okay. You'll tell you. Yeah, you go tell yourself that. Anyway, so just to explain. Um, just explain what happened there was basically my memory fucked me over because I actually remembered him fucking, you know, s rummaging through that wallet. So I thought that was the point where I called that out, but I remembered wrong, and it turns out that was actually the question. And I realized that afterwards when I read the title of the next question. So yeah, that fucked me over. Uh, I promise I, I'll try my. I won't do that again, or I'll try not to do that again. <laughs> I try to, I'll try not to pull that shit out too much, because that's annoying for me. So. I hated having to play back at this again. Play through this again, so. We'll play back um, a few minutes of this, so. Yeah. Anyway. Back to the actual game. Let's go. 620 Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. A couple blocks north of Oh, wow, you're smart. So. Play it by the book. No stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. Oh, we got blood. I mean, he's probably dead. I don't know if we can lose that much blood. Obviously, some of that was a heavy hand. It's the wrong way around. How so, Gene? Where is Aiden? We've gone to all the trouble to steal the car. What's going on? You leave the body behind, not the car. You got something, though. Doesn't 
coming that up. Mm. Of course, I'm always the one coming up with the wise ideas here. I'm just too great for my time. Did you read about the guy on the crossing yesterday? No, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy's driving along and his oil light comes on. He stops the car and gets out. He pops the hood and... Got a rail car. Oh, you got it. He got a tent under there checking the oil. The Southern Pacific freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. The car yeah. can't go rest more than a mile down the track. What a pointless waste of life. Well, I'm sure he had a good 40 guns, years or whatever. Oh, guys, don't be so harsh. You know, you're not one to talk with Kasky. You're a fucking idiot. So far, I'm the one who's been doing everything. Don't you get... You really? You're giving me lessons? Okay, but... You know, I'm not even gonna talk. Oh, I hate this guy already. Alright. We're gonna be having a lot of that in this game. We're gonna have a whole bunch of shit heal partners that we're just gonna have to put up with, despite knowing how superior we are. It's, you know, we already did it with Ralph, so. Not too much of a stretch with this sh shit head here. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to ourselves. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on. 